Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today we'll talk about Rule 12 of the Responsibilities of the Investigator according to good clinical practice. More after the break. Rule 12. Keep everyone fully informed. The principal investigator is the central point of contact for other study staff, therefore he has to read the investigator's brochure and the protocol, and if necessary the protocol amendments, carefully and inform all other persons involved about all study-related issues. The principal investigator should delegate duties in a way that only qualified persons assume study-related duties. Furthermore, they are responsible for informing the subject as primary care physician about the participation in the study if the subject is in agreement. A clinical study is a very communicative process, the success of which also depends on information exchange. The course of the study must be reported regularly. Also communicate problems, such as recruiting problems, so that these can be solved together. In many cases, for example in terms of serious adverse events, the investigator is also obliged to notify the sponsor directly. The ethics committees want to be kept informed too. They require annual safety reports or immediate information in case of the end of the study, study dropout or death of a subject. Furthermore, you need to contact the monitor responsible concerning any problem. Therefore, plan on spending time for the telephone conversations and the correspondence necessary in this regard. The monitor serves as the means of communication between you and the sponsor. It is the duty of the monitor to contact you regularly, therefore inform him at the beginning of a study when and how he can reach you best. The main responsibility for a study does not lie with the principal investigator, but with the sponsor. The sponsor must ultimately guarantee that the data collected in the scope of the study are credible, that data integrity is given, etc. To ensure that this takes place is the purpose of audits and inspections. Furthermore, the sponsor must comply with all guidelines. In particular, a trial may only be carried out if the benefit of the trial justifies the risk, whereby not every individual subject must derive benefit but rather the total subject population suffering from a certain disease. Otherwise, it would not be possible to conduct placebo-controlled studies whose ethical authorization has been much discussed in the past, but which cannot always be waived for scientific reasons. The sponsor must also consider the rights, the safety, and the well-being of the subjects as more important than the scientific interest and must receive a favorable opinion from the Ethics Committee before carrying out the study. For the submission to the Ethics Committee in some countries like in the USA or in Belgium the principal investigator is fully responsible. In other countries like in Austria and Germany, the submission is usually performed by the sponsor due to the expenditure of time and the huge paperwork. It is also in the sphere of responsibility of the sponsor to ensure that the study is adequately monitored by clinical monitors. The monitor should be appropriately trained and should have the scientific and slash or clinical knowledge needed to monitor the trial. The tasks of a monitor have increased continuously during the last years. Whilst about 10 years ago the monitors came to the trial site only for a short visit to review the informed consent forms, and to collect case report forms. Today, a lot more data need to be verified. Also, the protocols have become more complex in electronic systems, such as eCRF, diaries and clinical trial management systems, are demanding significantly more comprehensive knowledge and skills from monitors. If you as investigator has questions, always ask for answers and communicate with your team. A significant part of the budget of each study is accounted for by clinical monitoring. Give the sponsor feedback about the monitoring. If it is your opinion, it is being performed incorrectly or negligently. It is the duty of the sponsor to ensure a high quality of clinical monitoring. Surprises or incidents due to bad monitoring within the scope of an inspection reflect very unfavorably on the sponsor. 
because further costs thus frequently arise. Always keep in mind communication is your friend. Keep everyone informed when problems arise. So much about the Rule 12 for investigators. This was our last video on the 12 Golden Rules for Principal Investigators, but stay tuned for our other topics. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.